हाई फ्रेंड्स इस स्वाति अगेन कंटिन्यूइंग विद द टॉपिक ऑफ इंटरनेशनल लेबर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो टुडे वील टॉक अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इंटरनेशनल लेबर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर इज बेसिकली वॉट आर द मेन द डिपार्टमेंट्स ऑफ विच द इंटरनेशनल लेबर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज कंप्राइज ऑफ एंड हाउ दे वर्क so let us get set go ilo has a three partite structure means it is it is composed of three parties that is workers governments and employers okay so obviously employers and workers are the representatives and the social partners who have a equal voice with those of government in shaping its politics and programs so that is one then it is composed of three bodies okay international labor conference and uh, <coughs> governing body and the international labor office so international labor conference meets yearly and it works on making conventions and recommendations and reports on the application of <coughs> these recommendations then the second uh, body is the governing body which determines the agenda of conference and directs the work of labor office and the third one is international labor office which is a permanent secretary of the organization which executes all the conference decisions <coughs> now talking about each one of them in a brief international labor conference is also known as parliament of labor so it organizes the international co- labor conference in geneva every year and makes decision about ilo's general policy work, work program and budget now the second body is the governing body of ilo it is a executive body which comprises of 28 governments 14 employees and 14 work representatives okay and obviously 10 of the titular government seats are permanently held by states of industrial importance these are basically Bra- brazil china france germany india italy japan the russian federation the united kingdom and usc so the governing governing body's function is that it takes decision on on ilo policy it decides the agenda of the conference and elects the director general appoints the members of cesr acr and is involved in the supervision of application of international labor standards now the third body is international labor office which is a permanent secretariat of the organization comprising of regional offices country offices okay and the training centers of ilo it is led by director general and its main function are to undertake the technical work and it also develops and implements programs set up by the body so obviously ilo is a tripartite structure in which the ilo promotes social dialogue between the partners on social and economic issues countries are also some are the members of uh, ilo okay so this is it for in this topic hope you understood this i will again come back with another new topic related to ilo just be on the watch <laughs>